Hey everybody, this is Nemo, and in today's video, we will have a look at the brand new PrestaShop version 1.6 stable. And uh, it came out uh, two days ago uh, at the time I am recording this video. And uh, you can finally use PrestaShop 1.6 for production. Uh, so, uh, well, if you had 1.5 before, my suggestion for the time being is to stick with that until some small, small bugs are fixed. But if you're just starting a new store, uh, you should use 1.6 as it's the newest and uh, better version so far. So let's begin by having a look at the back office interface. I will log in and uh, we already saw this in uh, previous videos but now of course everything is uh, working as far as I know as far as I've tested so you know uh, the interface he here is responsive we have the menu here uh, the other one here when there are more entries and then of course statistics for everybody who likes statistics, we have a whole, whole, whole bunch of them. Now, uh, let's let's have an overview of this uh, interface. First of all, um, we have the uh, some links here uh, at the top, as we had on 1.5. We have uh, the new orders, new user uh, registrations, new messages from the, the customer service, and the small um, game presser shop introduced in a 1.5 about merchant expertise but okay let's move uh, on then a quick access quick access you can create new category new product or voucher and then we have uh, a shop link in the top right here really convenient you don't have to access the quick access menu anymore and if you click this you will access the front store and you will have the live configurator uh, active already. So you can hit this and change. Uh, now it's a bit uh, bigger than my um, recording window here, but you can change the color theme and scheme, the font, etc. etc. Then uh, the search box here, you can choose where search if you want to search the catalog customers uh, by name or IP address orders invoices carts and modules so you can find basically everything I think uh, this, the place here is a bit more obvious than uh, where it was before then again let's have a look at the, the mentioned statistics in the home page so starting from the top we have um, a period switch you can choose um, when when to show um, statistics from and uh, there is um, a small thing actually notice here as soon as you install Presto Shop 1.6 uh, I, I, I've not tested the uh, upgrade yet from 1.5 but as soon as you install this um, the vanilla version will have scroll down the demo mode uh, set to yes so I set it to no now but um, make sure as soon as you install it that you are not uh, using the demo mode otherwise uh, all uh, these tabs will be filled in with fake data then well uh, we can uh, have for example we can have a look at the activity overview here online visitors etc uh, the pending tab so uh, this shows you uh, pending stuff of your store it would have been better in my opinion to have um, links here so you could see uh, by clicking here uh, the pending order orders uh, the uh, merchandise returns abandoned carts and out-of-stock products but as you can see there are no links here so uh, it's just uh, for informational purpose purposes uh, same thing for notifications here it says new messages here but no links at all then if I scroll down I can see here a link to your Google Analytics account now um, I will probably cover this in an upcoming tutorial uh, this uh, I haven't tested this uh, yet but it's supposed to uh, give you more insights 
from directly from uh, Google Analytics using the new API. So really powerful. We will definitely see this um, in the uh, one of the upcoming videos. Then if I go back up here, um, you can you can edit uh, settings for each of these tabs by clicking the small cog in the top right here. And uh, then of course you can uh, change here values. Uh, something is broken here still, as you can see. But uh, okay, it's, it's no big deal, I guess for now. Then um, I want to show something that might lead to confusion. If you click here, the dashboard cog, uh, you have average bank fees per payment method. Now this might be, I mean, misleading as it re reads fees. Um, you are not actually adding fees to orders. Um, you're simply adding fees to, um, by the way, this is still a bit broken. It's showing, it's showing USD two times. It should be euros and USD. But anyway, um, this uh, is only supposed to add fees to the statistics, although um, it's a bit broken, so uh, they're not accurate so far. I suggest you just keep them to zero and and go go with zero until uh, it's clearer, until Presta Shop makes it clearer uh, about the, um, the functionality of this tab, okay? So yeah, this is a bit broken, so I suggest you just keep this at zero and uh, use other statistics um, tools to check real statistics. Okay, so let's move forward and have a look at the catalog products. So you can see our beloved uh, filter menu is back and you can also search uh, when you decide to. I mean, you hit here and then hit search. Uh, it's not saying filter anymore, so it's the same thing, by the way. Um, so I will hit a product and I wanted you to, to notice that you now have save and save and stay in a more convenient place. So it's not uh, up here anymore. You have it in multiple places. If I go here, save and stay, save and stay, save and stay, you can see. It's a tiny bit um, better organized compared to how it was in 1.5. Uh, it basically stayed the same. As you can see here, we have um, all the, the links, the tabs here in the left part, and then uh, they fill in in the right side. Um, it's, in my opinion, is uh, maybe because of this stark white, is a tiny bit more stressful for the eye, but that's just really a personal opinion. So let's move forward. Uh, let's talk about, for example, employees. Uh, you can see here, um, I have a small image next to my name. And yeah, um, employees can now have their own avatar. And this avatar is linked to the one you have on your uh, Presta shop account if you use the same email address. In this case, I, I, I use another, so uh, it's not linked. But uh, I mean, it's a tiny nifty feature that might make you happy uh, about your avatar. So everything looks tied together and connected. And you can choose here if you want to connect this account to the Presta Shop one. You can see it can provide you with some guidance on a regular basis, but etc, 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 etc. And I, I believe this is just a, a newsletter or something like that box. Let's have a look at another, at another thing I spotted in the advanced parameter performance. You can now if I scroll down, you can disable customer groups as well. When you're testing, if you want, uh, or generally, if you're not using customer groups, this might save uh, some uh, bandwidth when retrieving data from the database. So just keep an eye on this. If you're not using customer groups, make sure you disable this option. Then again, let's move forward to orders. We have, I believe I didn't, uh, didn't cover this before, we have the Google Maps the cool Google Maps, oops, sorry. <laughs> we have, uh, 
a Google Maps here for John Doe, for example, uh, a Google Maps view for uh, the address, both the invoice and shipping address. And once again, uh, apart from the fact that this is still a bit broken, so let me try to resize this, it's, it's, it's not resizing down completely to a, to a degree, but uh, uh, I find this screen to be uh, crowded and overly confusing. So I hope I hope they adjust it uh, a bit uh, because to me it just looks uh, like everything is stuck together and uh, not not exactly clear as it should be. Uh, okay, this is uh, everything I want to show you for uh, orders. Let's move uh, to a really really cool feature I found in the themes uh, tab. If I click on edit here, you can see you have a responsive option enabled and default left column and default right column. If I hit edit here, uh, it's now possible to choose if you want by default to display the, the left and or right columns and then you can choose number of products per page directly here. But uh, the cool feature is actually that you can choose whether you want to display or not the left and right columns for each page. And this is amazing. Uh, this was broken and uh, Presto Shop developers hated that the fact that uh, some modules uh, such as Bankwire, for example, here um, used to disable the left column automatically uh, without uh, having you, um, without letting you, sorry, um, tweak this uh, kind of setting. Now you can finally choose, and I've not tested if this actually works with custom themes, but uh, the fact that this is here shows the Presto Shop's uh, team will to add this functionality at last. So they, I, I believe they'll listen to uh, all the community's complaints about it. Then let's move to modules. <clears throat> so uh, by clicking here on an install module, let me find one. Okay, uh, you can uh, disable it and configure it. So you just um, click this down arrow and you have disable on mobiles, tablets, and this is quite useful if you want to target uh, and use a specific module for uh, a specific audience. Uh, be it uh, mobile users, tablet users, or, or desktop users. And of course, you can install, reset, and delete, and mark as favorite. Now, let's have a look at um, the top buttons here. These are statistics only. You cannot use them for filtering, uh, so you, you can't filter by modules to update, but you can use the sort by uh, the old should I say, sort by a menu to uh, sort by, you can see enable, disable, install, not install, and others, as we used to do uh, before on 1.5. Now, um, uh, a couple of users asked me how to change these uh, thumbnails here. Well, it's quite, it's quite uh, weird. Uh, it's in a quite weird uh, place. I should say, because uh, you cannot edit these from the top menu module configuration page, but you can do it, this from the categories menu. So if I go here and hit edit on women, you have thumbnails here and you can upload up to three, I believe, yeah, three images to use as thumbnails on the menu here. And this makes up a really, really great uh, mega drop down menu, I believe. Uh, last thing thing I wanna to um, uh, notice, no, second last, um, <clears throat> sorry. You can change this uh, top banner for each language of your store by going to modules and looking for banner, and it's this one. Banner block 1.2. You can see you, if you have multiple languages installed, I have Italian and English, you can change this uh, language specifically. Then the really, really now the last thing uh, I want to spot is um, 
uh, a rather confusing feature. Now you have, you can see here, you have uh, call us now tall free and the number. And then if you scroll down, let me refresh the page as well. If you scroll down, you have another call us now tall free here. But you can see here it's different. And this is because you have uh, two, we have two um, contact modules actually. So if you want to change, uh, to start with, to change those options, you can look for contact. And contact block is the top one. So you can change here to uh, let's say number. A refresh, and you can see this change. And the other one is contact information block. So if I now go back uh, here, you, ha you have to uh, edit the configuration here save and of course you can change all your or all of your uh, stores information from this page okay um, I think this is everything for this real quick real quick overview of uh, 1.6 stable and final version um, hopefully some of those are responsive bugs of the back office uh, oh let me show by the way the front office response uh, responsive features uh, okay, yes. Uh, you can have a look at the um, older videos on 1.6 for uh, the other features overview, such as quick views and uh, the add to cart pop up here. But uh, I think this served as a, a really quick introduction to 1.6. So uh, again, if you are using 1.5, um, I strongly recommend that you stick to that version until we get at least 1.6.2, 1.6.3. If you're a new merchant and want to start with your online store right now, uh, just Go ahead and download 1.6, start with it and, and have fun as it has uh, the, the widest amount of features uh, free and open source e-commerce software currently offers. A lot better than Magento, Shopify and everything else. By the way, Shopify is also paid. Uh, OpenGuard, I meant. Okay, so uh, this is everything for this video. Make sure you follow up with the blog and YouTube channel so that uh, you uh, can be promptly informed uh, of the new videos I'll be, I'll be recording and updating. Next one, I believe, will be about uh, connecting PrestaShop to Google Analytics. So stay tuned. As always, if you have uh, other questions, feel free to contact me at nemo at nemops.com. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.